up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to prove that A cross B intersection C is equal to A cross B intersection A cross C. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. Before we do it, though, um, let's recall what we mean by this, by this X, by this cross symbol. So recall, if you have, okay, so if you have A cross B, this is the set, so we use the set brackets, of all ordered pairs X comma Y, so X comma Y, such that um, X is in A and Y is in B. So it's all the ordered pairs where the first component comes from the first set and the second component comes from the second set. So here X is in A and Y is in B. Now I used a comma here and you can use an and instead. Okay, so you can replace the comma with an and which I'll do in the actual proof. So let's go ahead and go through the proof. So proof. So what we'll do uh, to prove this is we'll start with one side and we'll show it's equal to the other side. So we're going to start with this and write it down and then just write down what it means and go from there. So we have A cross B intersection C. So A cross B intersection C. I'll write a little bit small. So this is the set. Okay, this is the set of all ordered pairs X and Y. So X comma Y such that x is in A, so the first component comes from A, and, and the second component comes from B intersection C. It's all of the ordered pairs where x belongs to A and y belongs to B intersection C. We can rewrite this as the set of all ordered pairs, x comma y, such that x is in A, and now y here is in the intersection, so now all we do is we write down what it means uh, for y to be in the intersection. So y here is in B and it's in C. Okay, almost there. So this is equal to the set of all ordered pairs, x comma y, such that, well let's see, we know that x is in A and then y is in both of these sets, right? So one way to write this is x is in A and y is in B. In other words, x comma y is in a cross b. So we can say that's true just by looking at these two statements here, right? x is in a and y is in b. Therefore, the ordered pair is in the Cartesian product a cross b. And, and x is in a and y is in c. Therefore, the ordered pair xy is in the Cartesian product a cross c, right? Because the first component is in a and the second component is in c. So the ordered pair is in a cross c. So what do we have here? We have that the ordered pair is in A cross B and it's in A cross C. Therefore, it is in the intersection. So this is A cross B. I'm going to put it in parentheses for clarity. Intersected with A cross C. That's it. I hope this video has been helpful. Until next time, take care.